Hey guys, so hope you're doing well. I know I certainly am because we have beautiful weather uh, today in Ohio. Uh, it's March 1st and it feels like summer is just around the corner. So that's super exciting. Uh, but I hope you don't mind. I'm going to be filming this vlog vertically and I know probably most of you guys watch through your phones. So I want to see how that's going to be. So I'm going to be filming this video this way instead of this way. So there's a lot of things I have to do and a lot of things I have to update you guys on. So I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of pick up the camera today. I mean, it's already evening, but I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, so you guys can see how everyone is doing. Pride is actually due on Friday. Today is Wednesday. She's due on Friday. So I have to prepare a space for her in the little room where Athena and her standard size puppies currently are. Uh, so I have to move her out into the living room and then clean up that whole room and and get pride situated in the, the little room well the nursery little room place where I like for them to have their puppies now all the micro minis that pride's gonna have are spoken for but I mean obviously you guys want to see how she's doing especially for those of you who are going to get a pup from pride's litter so we're gonna see how pride is doing and um, I'm gonna show you Athena and all her puppies I do plan on getting pictures of the puppies tonight so you can kind of watch me do that and you can see how Athena is doing and uh, yeah I let me just show you these minis though have them out here uh, the door opens so they're walking in and out of the house but they're doing so good huh they love it out here they've been playing all day yes and um, they're just kind of laying around right now so yeah these minis are available there's the others are in here sleeping under the table they just love to sleep under the table um, so if you're looking for a mini size golden doodle, I'm actually not going to be having any more this size for the rest of the year. I will talk more on that later on in the vlog to kind of like tell you why that is. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested, the weather's getting warmer. It's a good time to get a mini size if you have been considering. Uh, they're 11 weeks old now and next week I'm going to start doing temperament testings on these pups so be on the lookout for those videos. But yeah, there's so much I have to get done tonight <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So it is a little after 1 o'clock in the morning and I got a lot of things done. I'm in the living room. Micro minis are over there in the pool. You can kind of see them horsing around playing at 1 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you'll probably hear them in the background of this video, but um, yeah, like I said, I got a lot of stuff done I was able to clear out the, the little room so that pride can have her puppies in there. So she's in there right now um, All comfortable and ready <laughs> For her puppies to come on Friday um, and I was able to move Athena and all her puppies out into the living room But let me show you Athena's puppies. They're so freaking cute So look at them. Look at these babies. <laughs> this one's all the way over here by by itself, but um they're doing really good. They'll be one week old already. No, they'll be two weeks old. I'm sorry. They'll be two weeks old. Gosh, time flies. On uh, Friday. So I'm going to deworm them on Friday also. But you can kind of see. Oh, I don't think you could tell with this one. I think this is the one where you can actually see if he'll wake up a little. Their eyes are starting to open. See in the corner, in the corner right there. Um, if you'll open them up a little bit, you can see that they're starting to open. They start on the corner here and then open. You can't really tell right now because he's not, he's, he doesn't want to open them. Let's see with this one. Can you show us? No. They're all just a little too sleepy right now to even care to try <laughs> um, but they're doing so good and um, Athena's doing really good with keeping them well fed she's also doing really good with keeping them nice and clean although I did have to give them their first bath today because although she does like a good job you know she still sometimes has a hard time keeping up so I uh, wanted to give them a bath to get them all nice fresh and clean and I uh, also gave Athena a bath today too. So I'm gonna take pictures of the puppies right now. I have like this little dog bed here that I'm actually gonna put in the crate because the lighting in the crate is really good because I have a lamp on top of the crate. And I'm thinking I'm gonna move the puppies over to put the bed inside of the crate on that side. And then um, this will be like the color for the boys and then I'll put this pink one on top 
um, so you guys know which ones the girls are. And I've decided that I'm going to wait and put colors on them at four weeks old when they get their second set of deworming. Um, I just think there's just so many puppies that, you know, I just think it's better to, to wait another week. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but at least you'll be able to see which ones the boys are and which ones the girls are really soon at two weeks old. Um, and then you can kind of start seeing you know, which colors you might prefer because there are some darker ones and some lighter ones. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put the phone down because I'm recording on my phone and then I'll uh, get these pictures started. Okay, so just to show you guys, here are the girls. We have two light ones and two darker ones. This one is the darkest girl here. It's a pretty coat. And this is the lightest one. This one's kind of in between. And here are all the boys, all the little chicken fingers. <laughs> That's what they look like to me. Um, I'm thinking that since there are so many, I don't know if this is such a good idea to kind of put them in this bed because they're all kind of bunched together even though they love this bed. Look how comfortable they are. I don't think it's really good to take pictures of them in this bed because you can't really see them. Um, so I might, I might actually take pictures of the girls as they are right here because there's a little bit of space and they're all sleeping. And then um, I'll have to... I guess maybe I'll put the girls up here and put the boys there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so let's hope it turns out good. <laughs> so I just got the pictures done for the girls. I got a few of them. <sighs> now I have to move these guys. You know, they're so comfortable and so soundly asleep um, off the bed onto here to be able to take some pictures. So let me do that. Actually, I have a better idea. I'm just gonna do half and half. Um, I'll put some of the boys in here, and then when I'm done taking those pictures, then I'll switch to the remainder boys, and then that'll work. So, yep, I think that should work out good. Okay, so here are the remainder of the boys. I just knew I would actually get them all mixed up um, if I tried to switch them inside the cage. I took some of them out, as you saw, and then um, I put the boys over here, over here. That way I wouldn't get them mixed up because they look so much alike. Um, but yeah, let's take some pictures. Okay, so I got the boys' pics done. <laughs> look at them all. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to try to get pictures of all the puppies together. So I'm going to take a bed, put them all together, and try to get some decent pictures. I'm trying to get them to spread out a little bit so everybody can see them, but as you can tell, they like to lay on top of each other. Um, but I'm going to wait for them to settle down a bit. Looks like they're in their own little group there. <laughs> and the rest are just a big old pile right here. Um, but I'm going to wait for them to settle and try to get some more pics. So I just got done taking their pictures. I don't use any filters or anything at all um, on my phone or on my camera or during editing. Um, because I want to show you the true colors that they are and although filters can definitely enhance photos 
we're trying to go with complete accuracy as best as I possibly can because you guys are purchasing these puppies. Um, most of you guys are not, you know, in Ohio, so you're picking online uh, through videos and through pictures, and it doesn't help when you use filters and it's not the same. It makes the puppies a different color than what they are, really are. So I'm only using this lamp that's on top of the crate here. Um, for the lighting and I don't use any filters or anything at all. No flash um, Just trying to be a trying to be as accurate as I possibly can when I take pictures and when I do videos So I'm um, that way you guys know what the puppies actually look like <laughs> because we all know When someone puts a filter on on anything it makes the picture look completely different <laughs> So I'm here with Athena. Wait go back in go back in good girl Good girl. She wants to get out and play, but see, look, they know that she's back. She had to go um, wait in my room while I took pictures because I knew she would just get in my way. I know. I'm sorry, sweetie. But she's doing so good, huh? Huh. Doing so good. <laughs> she's so playful still. She's like a little puppy. <laughs> but look how good she does. Keeps them nice and clean. Keeps herself clean. Look at them. They know when she's here. Huh. You doing a good job? Look. <laughs> Look. They know. And she does so good laying for them, nursing them. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I know. Now let's help these puppies go to the nipple. <laughs> Wiggly. Wiggly. <laughs> some here. Growing so fast. So here's Pride. Hi, Pride. <laughs> As you can see, she is pretty pregnant. Um, she is due very soon. I took her temperature just a little bit ago, and she's actually at 99.0, which means she might have her puppies a little sooner than I was thinking. Um, because usually when they're about 99, their temperature is like 99 or 98. I'm sorry, 98. That's when puppies start to come. So she hasn't really been eating much, which is a sign that she's maybe at first stage of labor. I think she's at first stage of labor right now. So I'm thinking that maybe within 24 hours, she's gonna have her first puppy. But I will definitely, yeah, I will definitely keep you guys updated on the website. But I think by the time you guys see this video, she's already had her puppies, I think. So it's gonna take me a while to edit all this and get it out with doing all the other things I have to do around here all the time. No, stay there. Don't jump down. I'll have to help you. But yeah, so. <laughs> it's doing super good, huh? <laughs> what a good girl. So before I end the vlog, I just wanted to sit down with you guys real quick to talk to you about the plans for the rest of the year in terms of upcoming litters. And after thinking about it for some time, I decided that I'm actually not going to be having any more litters this year. And um, I know that might disappoint some of you guys because you're hoping for puppies from me later on uh, this summer and even in the fall. But I just don't feel it's right to breed my females when I feel that the demand is just not there. Uh, the demand was much higher in the past couple years. And I understand demand does fluctuate even within one year, weather being uh, one of the reasons, uh, one of the biggest reasons why uh, demand fluctuates. But, I, but like I said, I just don't feel like it's right because I still have so many puppies to find homes for. Um, so I know it's still early on in the year and the weather is getting nicer, but I was not expecting Athena to have as many as she did, but she did. And I still have so many of the minis to find homes for for uh, from Honey's Litter. And it's just going to take time because I want to make sure I find the perfect homes for these puppies. And um, I might be holding on to these puppies for a while because it takes time. So, like, I'm sure you guys understand, but I, like I said, I just don't feel like it's right to breed to have more when I still have many I have to find homes for currently. And I know it's going to take 
sometime. So I hope you guys understand that. I do plan on having puppies in 2024, but we'll talk about that later in a different video. But uh, but if you're looking for a mini or hoping for a mini sometime this year um, or a standard size, these are the only litters I'm going to be having. So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy to say that because it's only March and um, that's what I'm planning for. But I think that's for the best interest of everybody, the puppies, dogs, and me for my mental health. <laughs> So I hope you guys understand. Um, I know you guys do. And let me know what you guys think of the vertical as opposed to the landscape mode. Um, but yeah, I'll be picking up the camera very soon because we have a lot of things that's going to be happening very soon. Um, and I'm, of course, I'm going to update you guys on that. And I guess that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.